All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and I am back with another action figure unboxing and review. You guys thought I wasn't doing these anymore, didn't you? Yeah, no, I just took a break for a little bit because, um, you know, it's just good to do that every once in a while. But today we have something awesome. This might look a little bit familiar. So this is the Ancient Warrior Predator from Series 15 of NECA Predator action figures. Now this just came out, um, I don't know, like, like a month ago or something, but man, have these things been sold out on Amazon and I finally got one. So there are three figures in this series, um, just like in Series 14 where we had uh, Chopper, Scar, and Celtic. So in Series 15, we have the Ancient Warrior, which is this one. We have the Temple Guard, and then we have uh, another version of Scar where he actually has his mask on and stuff. And um, those are pretty cool. So we're probably gonna end up uh, unboxing all of them uh, on this channel, just like we did for series 14, because man, I just love predator action figures. They're so cool. I mean, what is cooler than predator action figures, really? Like, look, look, it's so cool. And I got it. How cool is that? Predator action figure. Yeah, let's, let's open this package. Let's play with this thing. It's so cool, man. Okay, here we go. Okay, the Ancient Warrior is unboxed, and wow, he comes with a lot of accessories, and they're all really cool. And the first thing I noticed about this figure is that he's actually slightly, just slightly, like like an ounce, like maybe, maybe an ounce or two heavier than the other Predator figures. Not very much. Um, first of all, his armor... Um, as you can see, the rest of the of the series 14 ones had um, like both chest pieces here. He only has the one side, and uh, so he only has the one uh, shoulder thing, which is flexible, by the way. And um, also, his armor is a slightly different color than the series 14 guys. So I have Celtic right here from from the series 14 Predators uh, to to compare, and you can see um, Celtic's armor is um it's more of a steel color whereas the ancient warrior predator uh his armor has this kind of like i don't know how well the camera is picking this up but his armor has kind of this greenish tint to it now his mask um it's more flat looking and it's just more normal whereas whereas celtic's mask is re is very elaborate and has this really cool face thing. Um, the Ancient Warrior's mask looks much more um, mass-produced, uh, if I had to give that a term. I would say it's more mass-produced. So the Ancient Warrior comes with um, two combi sticks. He comes with the fully extended one, and he also comes with the um, collapsed combi stick. And it fits in a little notch here, uh, right on his back. and. Um, when I put this on here, the little holder thing actually came out with it. I know it just goes right back in. Uh, I'm not sure it's actually supposed to come out, but it just it pops right back in and it's not a huge deal. So another big difference between uh, these two figures is that the Series 15 Ancient Warrior, look at his feet. He doesn't have the cool like like blade sandal things. That, that the Series 14 ones have. Now, all of the Series 14 ones have these cool things on their feet. Um, I don't know about the rest of the Series 15 ones. This is my first one. If I had to guess, I would say that the Ancient Warrior and the Temple Guard probably have this type of feet, and I would think that the Masked Scar probably has this type of feet, since it's scar and we already have a scar action figure and the only difference should be 
that he has the mask on. But um, I don't know, this isn't a review about Scar. Um, now, another thing I did find out is that if you uh, drop Celtic off of a bookshelf or a table, you will break his combi stick. So just be <laughs> aware of that. Um, yeah, probably not a big surprise to anyone there. Now he comes with the wrist blades. He only comes with one set of wrist blades, like, like all of the other predators. Uh, well, not Chopper. Chopper comes with a crap load of wrist blades. But um, yeah, he's got just the regular length blades. Um, he also has the little computer thing that opens up on his arm. Now, there aren't actually any like numbers in here or anything or any writing in there, which w I think that would have been really cool if you open that up and there was like, you know, the little red, um, um, you know, like alien language in there. That would have been really cool to see. But um, and it, it looks pretty cool anyways. Now, um, something really cool that um, I just learned just now while, while, you know, setting this guy up is that this, these hoses coming off of his helmet actually have a place where they plug into the backpack for the shoulder cannon. And I'll show you that right now. Um, so these, these just plug right into that. However, the, the downside of that is um, if you turn his head too far, you'll pull the hoses out. Um, so his head does actually have pretty good range of motion. But yeah, if you, if you turn it like too far to the right, those hoses will not go in there. So, I mean, you can just stick them in his hair or whatever, and it, and it doesn't matter. But just, yeah, there are actually places for those to plug in. And um, this, this has, you know, the same range of motion that all the other ones have and stuff. And it, and it also has, it also slides up and down on this little track so you can, you know, raise and lower it and whatnot. Now, another difference between these the Series 15 ancient warrior here and the series 14 ones is that um, they both have these kind of uh, skull necklaces and stuff however the ancient warrior actually has another uh, necklace on under that it's kind of um, like a reed looking thing uh, and the series 14 ones don't have that they just have the the skull necklace so the Ancient Warrior actually comes with some kind of interesting accessories. Now, of course, he's got the, um, you know, the little blade throwing shuriken thing. Um, and I don't, I don't know why. I mean, you can't make him hold it, uh, at least in, in this hand. If you, or maybe you can hold it in the other hand. I don't think so. But, um, I mean, actually, if he can hold this, just let me know in the comments and uh, let me know how to, how to make him hold it. But I don't think that he can. But, um, you know, I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments. Anyways, he also comes with some little uh, trophy looking kind of things. I think these are little skulls. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see these very well. I'll try and get a closer up shot of them. But um, yeah, I think these are just little trophies and stuff. And um, I'm not sure if these are supposed to go on him somewhere uh, or if you can just I mean, you could just put them like around him at his feet or something if you want to, you know, have them on display. Um, if those are supposed to go on his his body or something somewhere, let me know that in the comments because um, I don't actually see, you know, any place where they would go on him. Um, yeah, but you know, he does have like the folded up shuriken things on his belt. Like they don't come off or anything; they're just on his belt. And also the series 14 ones have those on the belt too, like right here. As for the articulation, now he's articulated in all the same uh, ways and places as the Series 14 figures. So the ball jointed feet, um, the, the knees pivot, and they're also double jointed. So they bend here, and they also bend right just behind the boot, right, right there. I uh, probably can't see that. And he also drops the combi stick pretty well. Yeah, so the double jointed knees and then the uh, ball jointed hip joint. Now it moves out about that far, back about that far, but it's stopped by the, you know, the uh, loincloth thing that he's wearing. But um, it does move, you know, out a good ways and then his uh, back combi stick falls off. Um, but yeah, it moves out about that far and uh, the other leg has similar range of motion. 
Now the arms also have good range of motion. These can go uh, 360 degrees around. Yeah, the arms uh, move out about this far, and uh, it, it could possibly go out a little bit farther than that, but I don't want to force it. It feels like it might break. So this is probably the extent of, of how far it goes out. Now he's got actually double jointed elbows. All their hands and stuff between the series 14 and 15 ones uh, come out and are interchangeable. This, uh, this shoulder armor uh, is just kind of rubberized right here. And it just, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's attached to his armor, but it kind of floats so you can, you can move his arm around and stuff. Oh, and um, articulation at the bicep, this, this swivels right here. And um, so does the wrist, the wrist swivels. Uh, just right here at the piece of armor and then of course the hands are you know ball jointed and stuff Now he's also got pretty good range of motion in the waist. So he's articulated uh, He's articulated here uh, Right right at like the waist right at, at this point right here However, there's this thing on the back this piece of armor right here. So you don't want to actually rotate it too far because that goes with it and um, it doesn't it's not that thick and this particular piece doesn't feel very sturdy so I wouldn't try rotating that waist too far because this could possibly tear uh, I don't know but I, I don't want to try it and then rip it and then be in a bad situation um, but he is articulated at the upper torso as well and this is on a ball joint so it can go side to side and back and forth and and all kinds of stuff and that's pretty cool and then his head like i was saying it does have good range of motion but as you can see i just i was a little careless and i just popped these out i mean they just go right back in but um yeah now that they're out we can we can see what kind of range of motion his head has so you can turn it you know all around and stuff and um, it turns more to the right however it's it's not going because his hair is is smashing up against the backpack and stuff so you can turn it more you just have to you know do something with his hair and um yeah and that's that's pretty much it so that's the end of my review of the ancient warrior predator figure from series 15 of the NECA predator figures so guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought down in the comments if you liked it hit that like button if you didn't like it feel free to hit the dislike button also subscribe to my channel because I am still doing action figures by the way I hope you guys didn't think I wasn't doing action figures anymore just because I didn't do any for a couple of weeks I was just taking a break it's cool it's cool there's gonna be more anyways that's the end so um yeah thank you for watching guys hope you liked it and I will see you guys in the next one